And good morning people, welcome back to Alandra. Last time we were going through the um, desert temple here. And we've got three of the four statues that we need in the last up above us. We need to get to it to open the way, so let's go shall we? And... oh. Yay for being uh, in instant kills. Because these take a lot of beating still. Uh, yep, and here we go. Ah, yes. I did that completely the wrong way to go, but... Uh, because there's actually a much more smoother way because as you can see it cannot hit me I need that uh, pedestal up the top oh that was a bit lucky to be um, down the bottom Okay. No, not this time. However, if I move it too close to the wall, I will not be able to get it off of there. So, this is the way I've got to go. Make sure I don't get hit too much. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I should be fine now. And this one onto this one. And me onto this one. And I just need to go up the top now. Uh, that's helpful. And back up to full health. Oh... Yeah, I now remember this area. Because we need to throw this onto this, I believe. Something we can't do just by uh, sitting on, uh, by normal stat throwing so I do believe we gotta go mm. there is one of these which is timed okay okay we're okay for this one yeah Right, um... Here's a bit, here's hoping. Nope. No luck at the moment. Yeah, you need to catch, uh, catch. You need to catch some barrels. But after a, after a while, it just becomes for for uh, traps. So yeah, I believe you need at least three for this. That's better. All right. Now I've got one there. So if I go here I'm going to at least catch a uh, catch one more okay right uh, this should be more than enough because I need to put one there Uh, 
We might be able to get away with it with two, but uh Yeah. I actually got pretty lucky on this uh, this one round. Okay. You need to pretty much use them as a bridge to get up onto here. And there we go. Now I believe this one is timed, so you have to be quick. To collect a key. And then you come up and you can just normally throw these, hope for, uh, hope for money or whatever. And out we go. Jump onto here. And that's the last statue. And that should be a full hill. Indeed it is. So, now I need to head back down to the... back down to the uh, centre bit. Okay, can I get... Right, I'm gonna have to go back this way, so... Thank you. But I uh, opened up that path for a reason, and I'm not going to be able to get through those. That's a lot of hate on me there. I should be okay now. I wanted to be on the middle one. I went the wrong way. Uh, let's try not to... <laughs> That's better. Oh. Going this way should be okay to go. Yep, there it is. Talking to this person. Risa, follow the path of true righteousness and you shall not, shall not be what left wanting. We called the release again, so I guess this is a place where we're going to see one of Lars' friends. Down we go. Right, right, we're going to need the bomb. That's way too far. That. Yep, I've got the bomb. And... I heard just to make sure I'm full health. And through we go. Right. Yep, now there should be a load of these. I'm doing pretty badly today. Oh well. And you've got to defeat them all to uh, go through, so. Hmm. Come back, please. There you go. Yep, 
Okay. And any diamonds in here? Yes, there is. That helps. And now we can go south. For this. You might notice that the um, portraits on the platform, uh, the platforms are sort of changing. This does not help much because if you get it on the wrong one, it will stop and you will not get it again. So. I need to throw it on the sun. Uh, well, the star when it's, the sun's up, so... And it, got, it gets the correct one. I'll show you what happens when it goes on the wrong one. Nothing. And everything stops. It's not a good thing. Especially when you have to beat up these things again. Uh, get them up against the wall. So. The sun I need to throw when the teardrop is up. The moon. When the star is up. I thought I was getting the timing wrong there. Uh, and this one needs to be when the moon? Yeah. And that's that done. And the bolt, uh, the uh, thing uh, disappears. Oh. No. There are some uh, of these that are really annoying. This is one of them. Not because of the enemies. Although it doesn't help. The great sun's gaze is held fast by the shimmering reflection on the water. Turning away with regret, he casts a, a glance upwards at the starry sky where a brother moon resides. Yep. So, water on the bottom, so that's the uh, teardrop shape. Then the sun. The, um, so, t uh, t uh, the drop of water, sun, star, moon. However, you might notice there aren't any of the uh, things. We need to kill this person. And his position is terrible. I need to hit him ten times. And this might take a few moments. In addition, they do like to block, so yeah. So eventually, finally, and here they are. So, teardrop or water. 
Sun. Star. Moon. Oh, I think I got the, st uh, the sun and the moon around the wrong way. Okay, that's fair enough. There you go. Yeah, so water, sun, moon, star. All on top of each other. The hard part is actually killing the one on the platform to the left over there. So, yeah. Anyways. We have... A boss room, it looks like. And, yeah. Okay. The letters Swen are engraved on the wall. You might notice that also on the wall there is a order. So we need to do star, moon, water, sun. In the opposite, uh, in the order of south, west, east, north. It doesn't like doing things the, the easy way, does it? So, south, west, east. Um, let's get out of there. And, um, yeah, he's a bit more exposed. So, down in the other one. Stars, moon, water, sun, again, but... The letters NEWS are, on, are engraved on the wall. So, North, East, West, South. And one more. And that's that done, and that was not helpful. But as you can see, he is fully exposed. This might come in handy. So, well, let's see what happens. You might notice something very familiar about this boss. And yeah, it's basically a copy of the last one that happened. Being a guardian. However, I have a better weapon. But I am in sand, so it does limit my um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, maneuverability. That helps. That doesn't. He is slightly tougher, but uh, not so much. There is also a smaller uh, uh, area to move around in, so... And that's him down. 
the flail helps a heck of a lot. And there he goes. Shrine Protector. And I swing my sword around, my dagger around as a victory pose, even though I had the flail in my hand. Hmm. And there we go. Now we can exit. This door is open, so we go through it. Oh, yes. Now, you remember that last one we had with the, um... The... Yep, falling barrels. This is the same. However, there's a bit of a difference. Uh, what the difference is, um, there isn't actually much difference. <laughs> actually, yes, there is. If I remember rightly, there's only one. Um, one thing that comes down. Yeah, one uh, barrel. So, need to get really lucky in this. So, I just did. Right, I need to get this in a place where it will hit it. Um, so, oh yes, that's nice. I need one more. I do technically need one more, but having one, another one, would be nice. Yeah. I got really lucky there. I think you only have five attempts to actually get them, get the uh, thing, so, no, six, six attempts to get at, at least three barrels. So me getting it on the second one was a heck of a lot of uh, had a heck of a lot of luck. But that's that done. Uh do 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 I need the flail back equipped. And through we go. Oh joy! These holes are not the way to go. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing down here but a few um, barrels, uh, a few pots, and lots of enemies that aren't really that easy to deal with so don't go down there if you can and avoid it at least I do believe they're on timers yep they are and some of these are not easy to uh, jump across either. Luckily, if you can get underneath them, they will not squash you. They will just hold up in place, so... Which is kind of needed for the very last one, I do believe. This pit is the hardest of the lot because you need to sort of 
get it correct and hacked on the first time. Which I did luckily, and just got to get there in time. Right. And there you go. And there we go. Through we go. Now. We're somewhere, it looks like. So. This is the final fight of the area, actually. So, um, hello. Proving your courage and coming here, Elisa. However, courage alone shall not end in salvation. You must also be a strong warrior. You shall face the test of strength, Elisa. I pray that you are truly strong enough to succeed. Yep, we've got a load of these to face. I believe there's eight of them. This now would have been a good time to uh, have my magic, but uh, that didn't help much. Oh, there's one gone. That should be enough. Yay for bombs being overpowered in strength. Oh, that's not a good front sign. He's dead. Two? No, just one. But that's three out, I'll take the rest out by hand. Up against the wall, easy. Now, this one. Should be two more. Oh, he's up against the post. And, oh, just that one left. So, done. And again, I have my dagger out when I've got my flow in hand. Yay! Eight of those, easy enough if you just move around. And he turns to bones, or she turns to bones. You are truly worthy of the power you possess. Your courage shall not go unrewarded. Three chests. The sword. So we've upgraded from a dagger to a sword. Not bad. Life vessel. Always nice to have. So that's 17. And... These are really nice. The long boots. These help immensely in the desert. Anyway, the sword. Traditionally crafted sword. Charged by holding X, uh, by holding square. Yep. It's only short range range in front of you, but uh, I do believe it does double damage, that attack. And the sword now does two with each hit. So it's equal in strength to the flail, 
just uh, uh, and it has a charge attack so it's the more useful weapon in my opinion than the flail is anyways that's this section of the area done until next time we'll exit here and see what happens next so have a wonderful day have lots of fun goodbye